Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll talk about rebates that are available in pricing management module. And that is not to be confused with legacy rebates. So the legacy rebates are available right here where you see rebate agreements. So this is the way for us to define rebates using the legacy framework. What we will talk about in this video are rebate deals. Those are the deals that will work together with our pricing management functionality. And those are configured right here. Let's assume a simple scenario where we have marketing development functions that should be available to select customers to promote our products and that rebate should be 1% accumulated over a month and then paid or deducted from the customer balance periodically. Let's just go through the steps that are required for us to configure this process. First we will start with an attribute called MDF. I will go to product information management, categories and attributes, attributes. In here I have configured a simple attribute called MDF. The attribute type is also MDF and this is a Boolean, yes, no attribute. Let's go back to the attribute itself. The most important setup here is this checkbox can be used as price attribute. We want to be able to use this attribute to define our rebate. Then even though we are configuring rebate, we have to start with some configurations inside pricing management module. To pricing management, parameters. In here, make sure that disable pricing management checkbox is set to off. So we enable the pricing management. Also make sure that enable price detail is set to yes. This will allow us to see detailed rebate information on the sales order line. And also under price attributes, make sure we have assigned a customer attribute group. And if I dig deeper into it, right click view details, you see that this attribute group contains our attribute called MDF, the one that I showed you earlier. Now let's take a look at price attribute group, pricing management, price attribute groups. In here we have four price attribute groups. What we will be using for this demo is one called customer. You see a list of different attributes that have been assigned to this group. What I'll show you here is it also contains our MDF attribute. If you click on add, it will show you all the attributes coming from the customer table or from the customer attribute table that are available for us to add to this attribute group. And if we filter on a specific table for the customer attributes, we see our price attribute MDF. Our price attribute group customer contains our attribute called MDF. Now let's take a look at the price component code. Price component codes right here. I have created a new price component code called marketing development funds. You see the type is set a rebate management, so that's an important configuration. Also enabled all for header and for lines. And in here, I have added this attribute group customer. Remember, that's the one that contains MDF attribute. On the bottom, I have allowed combination for customer all. That means attributes coming from the header customer attribute group plus all on the lines. So that means that this price component is driven strictly by customer attributes or customer fields, nothing related to the sales order lines such as item or item attribute. Now let's take a look at price component code setup. In here we have defined our structure that builds up our sales price. So we start with a base sales price, priority of one, we also then add any applicable trade agreement sales prices, any margin components, discounts, auto charges. And as the last step here, we have added this price component code for our marketing development funds rebate. So make sure that your code is added to this structure right here. And in this demo, I'm not using any pricing trees. So this is universal structure that would apply to any sales order. Now we have to assign one of our customers to MDF. For that, I'll navigate to the list of our customers. Select one of those, let's say Sunset Wholesales. Navigate to the price tab on the top and go to customer attributes. In here we see that MDF attribute and this attribute value is set to yes. So this marks Sunset Wholesale customer as MDF eligible customer. So those are all the setups that we have done in the pricing management module. Now we will move on to the rebate management module. First thing we'll do is go and define our rebate agreement types. In here I have an agreement type called MDF that I have created. What we need to do here is to associate this type with a specific price component code. We will do it by clicking on the new button 
and clicking on the drop down. In here we have two price component codes that have type rebate and we will use the one that we just looked at, marketing development funds. Now we will use this rebate agreement type to finally create our first rebate deal. Let's go to customer rebate deals, click on new. Description will be MDF 2024 under rebate type is standard, company will be USMF. And that's where we select our rebate agreement type MDF. So this deal is now associated with that type and that type is associated with that price component code MDF. So this is an important link. In here we have different options on the posting profiles. So I'm going to use the profile that allows us to pay rebate using customer deductions, select the currency and our from and to dates. All right, now we're ready to create our first rebate deal. Here's a header for it. Let's click on it. And what we need to do now is to create rebate deal line. Click on add line. Here's the difference. If you create a rebate agreement, you will see a form that allows you to select all group or table for customer and item, but because this is a rebate deal, we now need to select a specific attribute group. These are the combinations that are available for our MDF price component code. So I will select one that has customer and all. This would allow me to define some customer attributes. Right there, I see all the customer attributes that have been assigned. And what I'm interested in is the MDF attribute, and I wanna make sure that I set it to yes. So what that means is that this rebate deal line is applicable only when MDF is yes. If we want, we can preview matching results and that will show us our only customer that currently qualifies Sunset Wholesales. Close this and let's click on OK. So here we see our rebate deal is configured for all the lines where MDF equals to yes. In the next step, we will need to define the details for this line. Under general tab, I can specify calculation method. There are several. You can read all about those if you read the documentation from the Microsoft Learn. Go to dates, click on add. The dates from and dates to are copied from the deal header, accumulated, let's say, over a period of one month. And we're gonna allow claiming over a period of one month as well. And then we have to go to lines and that's where we'll define fixed percentage of one. Here we have configured a simple 1% off or MDF rebate deal. Now we will go and we will need to look at the statuses. Approval status is not submitted. So that means we have to submit it into the workflow. Before we do that, let's just make sure that we change our status from agreed to let's say completed. Right, so this alone does not change the approval status. We still have to go and send it into the workflow for approval. Click on submit and submit. Let's wait for a few minutes for the workflow to execute. So now I can see that the approval status has changed to completed. Now let's test it by creating a sales order. Let's create a new sales order for Sunset Wholesale. Let's add an item that we have on hand, 210. We see the unit price here is $10. Now let's check the price details. Click on sales order line, scroll down and go to price details. Here we see discounts, trade agreements that are applicable to that selected sales order line. And let's look not at net amount, but other not included in the net amount. In here we see our rebate management line. It's connected to this marketing development funds price component code. And if we scroll to the right, we see that the value here is calculated as 10 cents, 1% of $10. You may also notice that the net amount of invoice still remains unchanged because this is not a discount, it's a rebate that is not included in the invoice. So what remains now is for us to go and ship an invoice that sales order. So I'm gonna skip that step. I have posted packing slip and invoice for that sales order. If you look at invoice journal, we will confirm that the total on that invoice was $10 plus applicable tax, no rebate. But what we will do next is go and we're gonna calculate and post our rebate. There are multiple ways of doing that. What I'll do is go back to the rebate management, open our rebate management deal, here it is, and go to process. And here you have multiple options. Provisions are those accruals that you can post into ledger, but that's optional. You can also do the write-off, but what we'll do here is actually post the rebate itself. Click on rebate management. We have to define the period for which we're posting our rebate. So let's say this month, and we're gonna click on okay. 
Now, once that is done, we're going to click on transactions and we see our 10 cent rebate. Here you have several options. Click on source transaction. We can go and click on set correction so we can modify the amount to be posted. Now let's go back to our rebate deal. Go to post, post rebate management. Same idea here. Posting date will be current date, May 28th. We're going to include any transactions that are following within current month and click on OK. Once the transaction has posted, let's take a look at it. Transactions, let's show posted transaction. And after that, we see a target transaction. So the source transaction is what have generated this specific rebate. So it's usually our rebate deal. And the target transaction is what came out of that once it has been posted. So it could be a free text invoice or a ledger transaction. So let's take a look at this. We see that the journal number 640 has been generated. It's used the journal name that we have specified for our posting profile. And if we look at the view details, Details, lines, we see the Tencent credit on the customer account as 010, which is our Sunset Wholesale. So that's it for end-to-end -end process for rebate management. Just to summarize, we have created a rebate management deal that we have connected to the price component. And then we created a sales order, which is a source document to which that rebate was applicable. We have shipped and invoiced that sales order and then we created and processed rebate deal transactions. That is all I wanted to show to you today. I hope you found this video useful. Until the next time, take care.